Welcome back to another video. In this video we are going to be installing a security system for your home but this is a different type of security. It's security against kind of natural disasters and kind of other things that can happen in your home. This video entirely is going to be sponsored by Xsense and they have sent us the perfect security system. As you remember we had electrical fault with this socket right here behind me and uh, that wasn't the socket fault it was actually the cables slash also the grounding wire fault so the wire that burned was the grounding wire and some of you did mention the grounding fuse it's not a something they install when you install electricity on a house the company uh, you have to ask for it and you pay extra so that was the cause of it but because of excess smoke alarms we were able to unplug it and turn off electricity in time so no damage was caused because if that curtain catch fire the whole house would be gone really fast nothing could be saved so yeah, let's see what we got today. We got a full box of Xsense goodies. We're going to be assembling this all-in-one kind of system that is all connected to your phone as well and it's going to send you information to your phone. So let's unbox it all and see exactly what is in there. So this is the kit that they offer from many options of course you can buy all these things individually but this is the kit that we got and this is the 11 piece kit. So what we got here is we got smoke alarms that all connect to the phone, the actual base station with another carbon monoxide listener so these ones listen to the alarms and tell you that something is wrong. Then we have an actual camera for inside, we have another listener, we have a thermometer that we already got you saw previously, we got another one connects to this one. A new monoxide alarm that actually connects to the base station and transmits that there is a monoxide leak. Currently we just have it beeping and a water leak sensor plus another listener. So yeah, before we get to the unboxing and setting it all up, make sure you check out the link down below so that you can see exactly what you want. If you want any of these products, quality is incredible so I really enjoy using their products. It has never let us down really. As soon as there's a bit of smoke, alarms go off. And now that they're going to connect to our phone, it's even better. But the US version actually does have different listeners with the base station. It actually tells you exactly where the location of the smoke is, which alarm is triggered. And it works with other brands than Xsense, so you can use it together with your other smoke alarms. So yeah, let's get to unboxing and set it all up. All the products do come with batteries as well, so that is amazing. The previous ones we got, if you remember, those were with 10 year built-in batteries, but this ones actually have removal batteries, the most of them, so you can actually change them and use them longer, but 10 years is pretty long as well for a smoke alarm. Oh, that's loud. That is loud. That's pretty good. I mean, it has to be loud. Okay, we have to remember what each thing does. I mean, we know that this one looks different, so... Excuse me. Okay, I'll put it back for you. Oh, it's okay. Oh, that's fine. So here they all are unboxed and they are looking very stylish. I do like their style as well and they all kind of match with their X logo, Xsense logos on them. So now we're going to set them all up. The camera actually is not going to go outside even though it does come with a solar panel which we probably actually will set up. This will go in our entrance hall so in case there's a break in that's the first thing that will catch any burglars and the smoke alarms we're actually going to replace one in our bedroom where we have the red stove one next to this stove and one all the way in the storage room where we have our inverter and boiler which both you know can have a problem and electrical fault together with the listener so the listener has to go right next to it at uh, that of a distance so they will go all as a set we do already have the hooks for those two so we're just gonna swap them I'm pretty sure the connection is all the same so we can just swap out that and uh, then the ones that we take off because they're really good still alarms they're actually gonna go in the barn and the gold barn so that's amazing 
the water leak sensor that one's gonna go under the sink and maybe one for the bathroom we can get in the future once the bathrooms are renovated because currently this thing would be going off all the time we have actual leaks there behind the wall and then the monoxide will replace the monoxide we currently have um i feel like this is stylish we have a good one but this one is really cool as well so but this one connects with our phone which is the best part and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And the base station next to the router we're gonna put. And the thermometer we're just gonna hang in the bedroom. And, and then pretty much all the house has thermometers as well. So we can see the temperature throughout the house. So let's set everything up. And uh, yeah, have a much more secure house after this. So we were looking for Keita. Everywhere. Couldn't find her. But she went under the bed because we were testing all the uh, smoke alarms. And she's terrified. scared of smoke alarms. <laughs> Keita! Two things. <laughs> what? It just happened? Did you put your finger on it? Yes. Oh, that scared me. Whoa, that turned again. This, this one also goes on. Yeah. That's pretty cool to know. Okay. No more leaks. <laughs> I like that. Okay, let's put it now. Leak on top? So everything is set up, including the camera, it's all ready, we have a nice view of anyone uh, trying to enter or anyone's at the door, so we're gonna be able to see it now. And uh, yeah, let's now set up the old uh, smoke alarms, one in the god barn, in case there's something happened there, and two in our big barn, so let's get on it. So I'm gonna press it behind my back just so it's not as loud. So to see how they react. Of course, if they see smoke, they're straight away gonna be gone. But let's make a fire alarm test, guys. Fire, fire um, training. <laughs> fire training. Careful, it's coming. <laughs> Are you serious? I thought they're gonna run. I got actually scared. One more, closer. Nope. <laughs> it's like, what is this? 
<laughs> Mime, you're so supposed to run out. You failed the test. I get the smoke goes here. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Okay, let's hope that there's no smoke in your house. Okay? No fires. Let's go now to the big barn. So everything is set up and if you do want to check these products out yourself, the link down below will also have a discount code. We're going to provide our own discount code so you can save some money and have a protected house safe from fires and monoxide probably more deadlier. Well, not more deadlier for the house, but more deadlier for yourself since monoxide you can't feel it. And I feel like it's very necessary since we have it running sometimes. Uh, I think this year only has been once, uh, but... When we first set up our stove and we were closing up the damper way too early, we were having problems with it. Now we leave the damper a lot longer and sometimes we don't even close it just for safety. So that's quite necessary. And the other more excited, we're actually gonna go now to our neighbors and we're gonna gift it to them. Uh, since I don't believe they have one, so we're gonna go install it for them just so they are protected as well. Since they both burn two wood stoves at their house and uh, they're unsure about their headache sometimes, which is caused by monoxide. A lot of times I'm wondering why I have a headache and then the monoxide starts ringing. So it is linking with your headache if you have monoxide and wood stove in your house. So it's quite necessary. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and we're going to see you next time. If you're wondering why you're seeing this as a premiere, that is because we are trying out this new thing. And so far it's been working since it has been getting our views way more. Just letting you know uh, since why you're wondering why is it premieres. Hope you enjoy. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Let's go to the neighbors. Evie, do you like the box? Was it a good gift? Could be bigger, right?